intro. Check this out. What's going on, people? Long time no see. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you Dishonored 2. Yeah, yeah. Pretty exciting stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So with this game, the way that it actually works for anybody who doesn't know and wants to know, you can actually play as Corvo and Emily right from the beginning. Like something happens and then you get a choice as far as who you get to play as, right? The different thing between them is that they have different sets of powers. Corvo has his old set of powers plus new new mix-ups to them, like his powers can do different things. Like if you played the DLC from one, remember how Dowd, whenever he blinked, he could stop time if he wasn't moving? Well, now Corvo can do that in this game. Among other new cool things that you can do to make Corvo feel more powerful yet different, Emily gets an entirely new set of powers altogether. Now, with that all said, let's just fucking get into it, yeah? Periodically, my PlayStation is gonna go beep, beep, beep. Because apparently my PlayStation auto-installed a self, uh, what should I call it? Oh, an auto-ejecting mechanism. So now, it just auto-ejects all my discs. That's fucking great, isn't it? It's so lovely. So kind of them to do something like that for me. Where the French fried fuck am I going? So, in this game, those things right there, that little friendly looking guy, and all those friendly looking guys, they've replaced the rats from Dishonored 1. And part of the reason I didn't buy this game on release. Apparently I'm a punk ass bitch. Okay, so what works on these things is like fire and just silence. Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Are they dead? They're dead? Okay, alright, let's go. Oh, God. The creeps are real with this one. I hate these things. Um, I see that down there, and I will raise you being a punk bitch. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. The fucking creeps are real with this one right now, dude. Damn. Calm down, calm down, calm down! Oh. Get the fuck off me, Jesus! Fuck, dude, holy shit! More, good. Ah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh my God. Oh, I hate this so fucking much. Oh my God. Like, I don't know exactly, precisely what causes them to aggro. And that's what's killing me right now. Like, was I, am I doing it too close? Am I far away enough? Which is the same fucking thing as saying, am I too close? Apparently, uh, when they aggro, they will fucking, uh, get all red and shit. And start, like, buzzing around like they're agitated. And then it'll be like, yo, who the fuck is this dude? Let's fuck him the fuck up. And then they fucking fuck you the fuck up. And that's how it works. I would show you guys, I haven't done it yet. I would show you guys. But you remember that one time that I said apparently I'm a punk bitch? Yeah, let's just roll with that one. Alright, then we should be good. No. Ow! Fucking calm down! Damn it. Everyone is looking for me. It might pay to be discreet. Oh, shit. Can that be a thing that we never have to deal with again? Can I just deal with, like, people forever from now on? Is that is that a thing that, that, that we can do, please? I hope that was just, like, a gimmick. Now the game's gonna be like, <laughs> fuck you, guy. No, we're just kidding. Now you can just go through the rest of the game and never have to deal with that shit ever again. 
The way that I personally play is I like to play like a splinter cell where I don't touch anyone if I can help it. So I don't kill anyone, I don't knock anyone out, I just kind of take whatever they have if they have anything and go about my merry way. Damn, I thought I heard blood flies for a second. The crowning of our new Empress Delilah Baldwin the first and the imminent arrival of his grace. Another cool thing about this game is that things actually do stuff in this one. Like, this says chloroform bottle. It does exactly what you think it does. Is that? Okay, that's closed. Fuck it. Until the world must by the And all manner of things are destroyed. Even set a table for your family that will keep them safe. Lay out a meal that would cause you no shame should your neighbor come to stop with you. Thing. I say this now to all the faithful in our society. Your allegiance should be first and most fiercely to your family, to your neighbors, and to the Abbey of the Everyman. Okay, maybe I can. Princes and queens rise. No far reach. I need to go down. I need to go down. See, that's the only problem that I have with far reach, and I'm sure most people that play this game will have the same problem, is that it doesn't exactly do what you want, because it wants to do this little fancy arc, you know? I want to go right where I'm aiming. If I could blink, oh, right there, no problem. But far reach, it's just like, but I want to be fancy. Do not doubt. We will verify this claim, and we will act. Smoke will billow. Okay, Fire let's see. The stones at Dunwall Tower. And at the end of it all, the Abbey will stand in the ashes. A young girl came to me on the 14th day of the month of harvest. I will never forget her words. Thank you, people. She looked like the most faithful, the cross. resolute overseers. A border on heresy. I suppose you're correct. It grieves me to imagine what cultists might accomplish. If they took the music boxes and perverted them to their own end. Exactly, brother. Much better to protect such a powerful tool. Assemble them in secret and dispatch them across the Empire where they're needed in the fight against the supernatural. Hmm. Is there a thing I just picked up? Mission clues? No. Okay, because there's a safe over there with a rune in it, and I don't mm. innately know where I might find said Cade. Let's see, Troy. Uh, what was that? Oops! What was that? that sounded like broken glass. Did you hear that? You're not supposed oh. to be well, here. Well, uh, I can break the windows. So, oh, oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! Okay, so let's not do that this time. And just go naturally. Damn it. Okay. This one's probably not going to be so easy as to have the fucking answer written on a wall or some shit. among you like a virulent swarm devouring everything wherever they go even if it hey you pal how uh how are you doing you alone uh -huh. <clears throat> oops did that just trigger you so I know stealing things makes you guys unhappy I'm probably okay I need to go upstairs, though. Are we not brothers? That oh, is okay, this said. is the same room I started now in. Now I feel okay, remorse. Okay, okay, okay. I know where People I am. bother me all the night. I need to go upstairs. Is there an upstairs? <laughs> yes. Very nice. This Do I need to harm anyone important. in order to get this done? I don't fully understand the situation. We'll wait for the vice overseer. When should Byrne arrive? He's engaged currently. He'll send someone else. Maybe Overseer can dominate. Until then, we stay where we are. Well, there it is, Corpse. It's like blood flies, brother. No, I've dusted it already. You should be fine for now. 
but mark me, anyone who shows up here. Okay. Uh, I'm going ghost. That's it. The body Mindy sent me after. a corrupt bone charm. Far reach consumes more mana for all uses. Well, that's shitty. Pulling enemies is now... Oh, okay, so it does more epic things than a regular bone charm with a higher price. Uh-huh. I'm picking up what you're throwing on the ground. Either way, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. There will be more exciting things in the future. This was just kind of like a, I am now playing this game. Let me show you all what it's like. There will probably be, I'll probably do more of a, a, a Corvo playthrough next. I'll probably do a Corvo video. In my Corvo video, I'm playing straight Psychopath. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Peace. Rules of